Hi, I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuCult's Chief Brand and Product Officer. Welcome to today's show called Farm to Sewing Table. We are thrilled for today's Die to Try launch party where we will be showing you ideas and inspiration using our new Go Farm Animals medley dye. Yay! <laughs> Our Die to Try series lets us bring new products to you faster than our usual launches and allows you to experience exclusive dyes. We only carry a limited number of these Die to Try releases, so there is a very limited time for you to add each one to your collection. With that in mind, we've sold out of our last two last Die to Try two. dyes the day they were released, so be sure to get your hands on one or you might miss out. Yep. We're always looking for new ways to bring you innovative products that help you create fun quilt blocks. Using AccuQuilt dies will make creating these time-consuming blocks fast and easy, so you can get back to sewing. Now let me introduce you to your quilting farmers. Here we go. Pam and Erica. Yes, here we go, I'm Erica Mabel again. Oh, I'm so excited for this new die. There's so much you can do with it. They're never giving us cowbells again. Yeah, I was gonna say, again. I feel left out. This is the only Sorry, time. Lynn. This die is wonderful and it is so fun and easy to use. Okay, should we get this die to try launch party started? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. All right. As always, we've planned a lot of fun for you today. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, a stupendous trunk show, and special deals. All right, ladies, I'm going to get ready for our two special guests, Marianne and Jeannie, who will be helping us to reveal our new die in a little bit. So have a great show. Thank you. Right, Goodbye. We'll you soon, All right, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at the new Go Farm Animals Medley die. Prepare yourself for a great ranching adventure because AccuQuilt is helping you fill your projects with animals using the Go Farm Animals Medley Die. This new applique die will bring life to your quilting projects by giving you three adorable shapes, a chicken, a pig, and a cow. These cute shapes were designed to stack on top of each other, allowing you to create trendy farm decor that your guests will love. This exciting new die will fit through all of our Go fabric cutters. Just imagine all the fun embellishments you will add to your wall hangings, baby quilts, DIY projects, and more. You can finish each project using the free embroidery download that gives you three stitches, a blanket stitch, a motif stitch, and a satin stitch. Quilters, let's head down to the pasture and bring the livestock home with the Go Farm Animals Medley Die so you can cut time and quilt more. Oh, quilters, working with this new die has been farm tested. It has been. The Go Farm Animals Medley Die is compatible with all of our Go Fabric Cutters and it includes free patterns and embroidery designs. It's super scrap friendly and it can be used in so many versatile ways. Oh, quilters, we're sure you're wondering how you can get your hands on this die. So we have bundles ready for you. Oh, do we ever. So the new die and its bundles are available for pre-order and will ship to you this month. First up, we have the Go Farm Animals Medley Die with a mat. You receive the Farm, Anim Farm Animals Medley Die, a 6x12 cutting mat, and the Farm Animals Medley Embroidery files, which value at $22. Right. Normally, this would run you $107, but you can pre order today for just $69.99, saving you over $36. That's right. Next up, we have the Go Farmhouse Fun Die Bundle. It comes with, of course, our Go Farm Animals Medley Die, the Go Classic 2 inch Alphabet Uppercase Set, the Go Schoolhouse Piece Die, and two cutting mats, 6x12 and 10x24. Normally, this bundle would cost you $419, but you can pre-order it today for $299.99, saving you over $118. And last but not least, we have the Go Farmhouse and Blocks Die Bundle. With this bundle, you receive the Go Farm Animals Medley Die, the Western Medley Die, which is one of my favorites, the Go Mix and Match 9-inch Cube, and the Go Schoolhouse Piece Die, two cutting mats, six by 12 and 10 by 24. Normally this bundle would run you $5.59, but you can pre-order it today for $3.99, saving you over $150, $158. That's right. Now we also have a promo code available for you today. Get $75 off, go cube, 
mix and match box, companion sets, and specialty sets when you use the code 75CUBE at checkout. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for details. And if you live in the contiguous U.S., you get free shipping when you place your order today. No minimum price or code needed to redeem this offer. Uh, now, to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image right here. Yep. It will take you directly to our site. That's right. And if you don't have access to a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser by going to the top of the page and clicking on the little plus sign. In that top box, type AccuQuilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way, you're not going to miss a minute of the show. Not a minute. All right, quilters, remember you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Okay, quilters, let's take a look at our new die, shall we? We're going to cut some scraps down here with it, Erica. Yep. Perfect. As we told you it was great for scraps. We're going to show you how. Yep. Okay, so first up, the die. Aren't they adorable shapes? Super cute. Okay, I would never, ever cut oh, these by never. hand. Oh, never. The detail is so great. The little um, cow tail and the legs. Look at the chicken the legs. chicken legs. I would never get those cut correctly yes. by hand. And there's a secret about there the pig. Is there's a secret. So right inside the little pig's tail, it's going to cut out that little circle in the center. Guess what that becomes? An eye. An eye. You wondered where it was. And there it is. Yep. So we're going to tell you to pre-fuse your fabric before Absolutely. you cut it. Um, if you're using cotton, you can cut up to four layers. Mm -hmm. But think about other things like felt or wool or denim would be super cute. Oh, denim cute. would be super cute. Right? Yes. And it has a free downloadable embroidery file available in three stitches, that blanket stitch. Uh, satin stitch and a motif stitch. Now, one of the really cool things about this is, well, two things really. One is you want to keep in mind that these are directional shapes, they okay? Are. So your cows are going to face this way if you are putting your fabric right side up. Yep. You want them to face towards Pam, just put your fabric right side down. Yes. Same goes for your pig and your chicken. So when we talk about this, this is super scraps. Right? Yes. I mean, a yes. great way to go to your scraps and go, oh, because, you know, pigs don't always have to be pink. Right. But we did find some little scraps in our bag here. So, uh, oh, let's cut something pink. We'll cut, cut, a, we'll pink cut pig. a We'll cut a pink pig. I love this. Actually, I'm going to cut a pink chicken. Okay. Because then you can see how cute he is. And remember, you can always cut six layers of cotton, but once you prefuse it, you got to make sure. How about our gray? Can we do a gray well, we cow? We can do a gray cow. Here's some gray. Look at Erica helping me out here. I know. I love playing with scraps. Don't you I love do playing too. with scraps, quilters? I do, I well, do. Here we go. Here's Now, this is one fun chicken. Now, listen, our gray isn't big enough to cover our cow. Oh, isn't it? No. Okay. I'll look for something. Oh, bigger. let's do a chicken, though, do like a chicken this. like that. Okay. And here, we'll just cut chickens, and we can cut two. We'll put them one way and the other. Okay. Oh, it's not going to be No, big. but that'd no, be fun not for gonna a pig. Be big We're going to cut our pig. pig. Okay. Oh, shall we have? Oh, let's have a blue cow. I wonder How if it now? gets blue meat. Blue milk. cow. How now, blue cow? There we go. All right. Okay. So now we have our scraps. Um, we're going to use our Go Big today, but this will fit through all of our cutters, wow. including our Go Me. That's right. So watch this. So much fun. <laughs> so Eric and I had so much fun testing this die. We really did. We really did. And we cut it out of craft foam yep. and we cut it out of all felt. different fabrics, felt. Yep. Give us some love. Slide that mat don't lift. So I'm going to pull this right here. Here we go. Look at our cute cow. Now and the other thing we want you to see is that we designed these shapes so that they will stack on top of each other. Yes. And this is super fun because, oh, wait. I gotta move it here. I gotta move the eyeball out. Oh, take the eye out. Take the eye out. Out of the tail. And we're gonna put it on the cow. Look at how cute that is. You wondered where the eye was. And we're gonna stack our pig. Okay. And we're and gonna we'll add our chicken. chicken on top. And just out of scraps. Just and that easy. Okay, so, I do love this on the pig. I do too, I do too. So we designed them so that they will stack like this. This is a motif you see a lot right now. It is. In home decor and right. we're just super excited about that. So that free downloadable embroidery with the three stitches. It's right. got the satin stitch, the blanket stitch, and the motif stitch. And I've got samples of yep. them, but and it's gonna show you single animals, but it's also going to have a stacked set as right. well. And it, we're going to give you that. It's a $22 value. 
Okay, so shall we see some samples of so those? So here's three, some three samples stitches. of our little pig. Look how cute Here's the blanket stitch. I love blanket stitch. I do too. And here's our motif stitch. Well, I guess I don't have a satin stitch on here. That's Wait, right. we've got some other samples. Yeah. The satin stitch is gonna be really tight and go all around. So if you're putting it maybe on a, on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt right. or something, then you're gonna wanna maybe use that satin stitch. Okay, I'm totally finding more of the scrap fabric and making pigs out of it, because look how cute that is. <laughs> All right, we are having so much fun. Now quilters, now that you've seen this new die, you've kind of seen it in action a little bit, we are going to introduce you to our experts. Yes. So we have challenged both of them to create projects using the Go Farm Animals Medley die. First up, we have Marianne. Marianne is a self-taught quilter, sewist, and a textile artist. She teaches AccuQuilt Club classes at her local quilt shop and volunteers for the Giving Doll Project, which makes and provides dolls for those in need of comfort. A Quilt of Valor member, Marianne volunteers her skills to design patterns and finishes quilts on her long arm. She also spends her time designing quilts and utilizing the AccuQuilt system as part of her creative process. That's She's brilliant. Great. Next up, we have the sweet Jeannie Miller. Do now, Jeannie you. has used and sold AccuQuilt products at quilt shows and retreats since 2008. As soon as she was old enough to operate a sewing machine solo, she began her lifetime hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. Now, Jeannie is an active member of several quilting guilds and is also the chapter chair of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Sew Society. Oh, I'm so excited. I love her hat. I love her hat. I think she was singing EIO. EIO. Old MacDonald so. had a farm. All right. I'm so excited to see the ideas our experts come up with. But first, Erica, why don't we give away one of our Go Farm Animal Medley's die to one of our registered viewers? I love that idea. Our giveaways are one way that we like to say thank you to you for being a part of our AccuQuilt family. Oh, you're such great viewers and we love you. All right. Today's lucky winner of a Go Farm Animal's Medley die is cowbell please karen s of columbia missouri congratulations, congratulations. you're gonna love it oh it's so fun all right all right quilters we have bundles available we for do. you to pre-order that will ship to you this month now first we have the go far animals medley die with a mat get everything you see here for just 69.99 you'll save over 36 dollars when you pre-order today don't forget about that free downloadable embroidery value so fun next we have the go farmhouse fun die bundle get everything you see here including two extra dies for only 299.99 pre-ordering today will save you over 118 dollars it has our alphabet which also have that new yes. embroidery download it's national embroidery month it is national embroidery month we're going to talk a little bit more about that that's a great bundle or you can order our go farmhouse and blocks die bundle for $399.99 saving you over $158 when you purchase today now you're going to get everything you see here which includes the go western medley die quilters we have a great promo code available for you get $75 off go cubes companion sets and specialty cubes when you use the code 75 cube make sure you spell that cube with a q that's right i check out some exclusions apply check the website for details you're also going to get free shipping when you place your order today if you live in the contiguous u.s there's no price minimum and no code needed at checkout all right, quilters, it's time to check on what our first expert has come up with. Marianne, what inspiration do you have for us today using the Go Farm Animals Medley die? Hey, Eric and Pam and quilters, it's great to be back. Thank you so much. Well, my field is full of chickens, pigs, and cows, and a few uh, invited People ask guests. me how I come up with my inspiration to do a lot of my uh, ideas. And what I do, the first thing I do is I go to the internet. And I start Googling farm animals, farm ideas, farm clothing, ideas, crafts for kids, and kind of start putting together a selection of items that I think would be kind of cool that are farm related. So this is kind of my idea sheets. I do these. I really like that one with the shadows. Um, and then I will go in and look at them and then create my own ideas from it. The one thing I wanted to show you, and we're going to go down to the design board in a minute, my absolute favorite was this modern farm romper. Can you imagine this on a little kid with all the chickens and the pigs and the cows around the edge like it's shown? I would have made a sample, but I couldn't find a romper. The first thing I did is go through my stash and I found some cut bibs 
and burp cloths. And so I decided to decorate them with the farm animals. I put a chicken on the bib because it's just my little chickens I love to feed. And it's just kind of a cute thing. I put the piggy on the burp cloth because when babies eat and everything and burp up, they're little piggies. And finally, I decided for the cow, I found myself this disposed, this coffee mug, a usable coffee mug that I actually made into a milk mug that you could take with you on a trip. And I put the brown cow on it and an M, which can stand for milk or for my son, Mark. Then I happened to find my old schoolhouse uh, die that I had made this cooler on one of the previous episodes. And I said, you know what? I could put a cow on it and some of the animals around it if I like, and then use it to store all the goodies for when we travel. So that was one idea. I decided to do some designs for t-shirts. And what I did is I took the cow, the pig and the chicken, and I added the horse from the limited edition Western Medley, and I added two inch letters, E-I-E-I-O. And I did this as a test piece first to see how I liked it. Um, I also did one, this I thought was kind of cute. I used the two inch I, I'm, I used a cow, a chicken and a pig. I used the pickup truck and the letter number three for I'm three, and it's going to be a birthday t-shirt. I really liked the blue one, so I actually did buy a t-shirt and I put it on, but I was having so much fun I couldn't stop and I turned around and I did the other side and I made mirror images and it kind of looks like a test pattern or a cool design. So that was another idea I came up with and then I decided to make some activity kit kits. So I used the foam and I actually double-sided it. One side was sticky foam and one was plain. I put the two pieces together to make it thicker and I created both stencils for the three, and then little cutouts that you can use and play with. Uh, and if you wanted to do it as a match, and you could, but they were designed to be stencils. I put it in this little gauze bag. I put some stencil, a uh, little paint, and this way it's a little uh, craft kit for when the kids come over or you visit, you'll have something for them to play with. Uh, and the last thing, I was having so much fun with this farm animals. I mean, I'm a city girl, so what do I know? But I have to tell you, this is addicting. So the last thing I did, I said, well, you know, I looked at those books and everything. I really like them, but, you know, everybody makes books. I decided to make flashcards, and I made two cows for matching game and two of the dogs. That's the gingham dog and the horse from the Western Medley, and I made a sheep from the lullaby die, and there's my little pig and my chickens. Well, it's a cool, cute little game, and there's two on each side, but I didn't want to waste the other side, so I put another matching game, and I put numbers and dots on it that I had taken from different, here, and there you go, see? So that's kind of a cool, fun game. So I have been having so much fun with this uh, farm animal medley. I made a case for it. This is one piece of 12 by 18 inch felt, just folded with a little Velcro, and it is designed to carry all the cards. I can't wait for you to see my challenge piece. Super cute. Super cute. So fun. And that sheep comes on the baby die, right? Yes. Go baby yes. go. Yes. Go baby baby. There that we go. That is right. And I love that the horse is the right size to fit yes, with the other animals. Yes, to fit right on the little. You think we planned it that way? So. I think so. I think so. Quilters, we are going to ask you to vote on your favorite final expert project a little bit later. So be sure to stick around for their project reveals. And if you're joining us a little late and you're new to AccuQuilt, this show is a Die to Try launch party. The Die to Try series is when we, we release a limited quantity, limited quantity, we say that all the time, on the first Tuesday of each month. And then once that quantity is sold out, it's gone for the rest That's of the month. That's right. The program allows us to offer you the chance to try out new and fun dies. Our Die to Try dies are only available at AccuQuilt's website. You're not going to find them anywhere else. Nope. Now, by making them exclusive, we're able to bring them to you a lot faster than the average die launch. All right, quilters, if you like watching our live show, then you're going to love our behind the scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. This one is definitely gonna feature cowbells. It's gonna feature cowbells and Lynn's socks. And Lynn's socks. Lynn's cow socks. Yeah, you'll wanna see that. Yep. Be sure to join us to see all the antics that happen in the studio. We also love for you to share your stories, quilt some more on our social media pages. Make sure you follow us. That's right. All right, it's time to check in with our second expert, Jeannie. What inspiration do you have using the Go Farm Animals Medley Dye? Hi, quilters. I got so excited when I heard about this new dye. Get it? Heard? 
So the first thing I made was this cute little pillow that says, I heard that and I have some of the cows on it. I love to make pillow covers, then just put them on my pillows that I already have. It's a quick way to refresh your decorating. Then I had this cute little basket that was a sewing basket. So I took that basket, it had a fabric top, and I put a cow on that. And then I made these cute little baskets or uh, boxes over here, and they just stack one up on top of the other. They're a great decoration for a room, and it's really easy to change them out and to put something else on them. Or you could use blocks of wood and put the um, stencil with the negative part of the uh, applique when you cut it out on the die. Then I made a little gift bag because they're always so fun to make and they're so expensive now. So buying a gift bag is so much cheaper and everybody loves it when I add things on. I even cut out something and use it as the gift tag and they really look special. Then I've got some um, tea towels over there. I've got Farm Life and I also have Farm Fresh and those have the designs on them and I embroidered them onto those tea towels so that they would stand up. And then of course I have my Tickled Pink. I always like to make a shirt to go along with especially the applique dies and I embroidered this on my machine and it just makes a plain old shirt stand out. Now I have a little clue on this board for what I'm going to be showing you for my um, challenge piece. So I can't wait for you to come back so I can share that with you. Okay, I love the whole um, gift bag. I do too, right? I do too. Tea towels kind of thing. Um, we were talking about how it's so fun to personalize. Oh, but I do love the idea of she just made the pillow cover. Yes. And then you can just change yes, it out. Yes, you can change it out. But really my favorite was the t-shirt. Yes, Jeannie, really will you make us a t-shirt? Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> All right, Quilters, as I said before, it is National Embroidery Month. To celebrate, take advantage of the downloadable embroidery files we have available. Our four purchase ones are marked down 15%, so no code is needed at checkout to redeem that offer. That's There's right. There's some great for purchase ones. We're going to show right. you. So earlier we mentioned the free downloadable embroidery that's available for our non-designer shapes like our farm animals. So let's take a closer look at it and how to use it. So we get questions about this a lot. All the time. We also have a video with all of this information on it, on using it with the Go Farm Animal medley. It's on the Dyes product page. Yep. Just click on it, you can hear. You can hear Erica's lovely voice. All right, if you've never worked with our embroidery designs, it's super easy to use, yes. okay? First, you wanna log into your account at AccuQuilt.com. If you don't have one, make one, it's free. Once you've logged in, pull up the free embroidery for the die and download it. So in this case, you would go to the farm animal medley die. You can find it going to the dies product page or under the embroidery file on the website. That's right. You get your choice of downloading three stitches. You can do one or all three of them. The blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. That's right. Then I like to go ahead and save the format that I need to use on my computer and then download it onto a flash drive so that it's ready to use. Now some of you may have machines where you can hook up your laptop to it and skip that step if you like. Right, now different embroidery machines will use different formats. Ours uses PES, which yes. stands for Pam Enjoys Sewing. Which is how we remember. That's it. how we remember it. If you don't know what format your machine uses, no worries, just check with your machine manual or you can talk to your dealer who sold it to you. That's right. Now, from there, you can select the design and stitch that you want, hoop your background hoop and stab stabilizer as usual, hoop it up. But here's the great part. You fuse and cut out your shape that you're using from the die. The embroidery is gonna stitch out a placement line so that you can place the shape perfectly and fuse it down, ready for a decorative top stitch. So this is one that we've got right here in the hoop. So here's our chicken, right? And there's a couple of keys. Now, like we talked about, it's directional. Right. And this is just that first step. And then right. all I did was take this off of my machine. Now you don't want to take this out of the- Leave it in the hoop. hoop. Leave it in the hoop. Yep. And we did the chicken because I want to show you how perfectly it lines up with those tiny little chicken legs. And then I just peel off the paper and then peel just off the paper. take my shovel iron yep. and iron that yep. chicken down. Yep. And just make sure you're all lined up and then you can just tack that down around the edges yep. and then put it back onto your machine. And he will, it will go over those chicken legs. 
It will. It's super cute. <laughs> So one of our favorite things about the Go Farm Animals Medley Die is that you have the option of embroidering individual animals like the chicken or the pig or the cow or the stacked groupings, just like you see in so many decor projects. And interestingly enough, one of our projects coming up. Yes, that Erica and Lynn are Add fighting over. Yes. So here's a pro tip. Again, be sure you cut your animals so they're the facing the way that you want them in your final project because they are directional. And double check to be sure that your shape and your embroidery are both facing the right way. Yes, otherwise you'll just cry real tears. Yes. Okay, but now if you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. Right. You could do raw edge embroidery. Mm -hmm. You could use a decorative stitch from your machine. You could hand stitch it to fuse it in place mm -hmm. or just quilt all over it. Yes. It's up to you. Yes, and we've got some examples of that coming up as well. We do. For even more embroidery options, you can check out the Go Farm Animals Medley Designs by V-Stitch. Now, these are paid downloads and they offer a lot more detail and some more creative options for you. So we've got those samples to show you. So here's the chicken. Okay, just a huge shout out to V-Stitch. We just yes. love them. Aren't they cute? So look at this little chicken with the red. Okay, our good friend, I have a good friend, Megan. She would know what kind of chickens these are. Yes, yes, I don't. I'm a city girl like Mary Ann. There you go. Okay, here's the, look, little pink cheeks on it. And again, look, a total great way to bust up your stash. Oh, and your absolutely. Straps. I like the pink polka dotted pink. The pink one, that one's my favorite. Yeah. And look, the eye comes out of the tail. Yep, yep. Then we've got the cow, and I love the cow look because we've got a little cowbell on it. This is yeah. like our oh, motif here. stitch. Yeah, there we go. We should never have given her the cowbell. <laughs> Brock's going to take it from Brock's me going to take it from you so quickly. So look at all these cute ones. This is this, my favorite cow. I love this. They, this is cow. This is like cow fabric. Yes, it is. For our yeah, cow. So fun. And then here's some examples of it stacked. So we'll just fan these out for you to take a look. Aren't those adorable? They're darling. They're so cute. I love it. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, okay. So fun. Okay, so these are ways to finish projects. You can start them. But what if you wanted to build a farm scene? I think we should talk about that. I think that. we should talk about it. So a couple of weeks ago, um, the other day, right, at our house, we just say the other day, I made a barn block using the Go Schoolhouse piece uh, Bob Dye, and Erica bought me red barn fabric. Yes. So look right here is our red barn fabric. Look at that. And it has a quilt block on it. It has a quilt block on it because we can, right? Yes, as it should, right? And it's Pam's farm, so she is gonna put a truck on it. I am Pam's pickup. Pam's so right pickup, here. actually I cut it out of foam core, but. Yeah, it's okay. She doesn't care. I don't. So it's gonna go like this. Yep. And then here's the wheels. Yep. Here's the wheels. Look at this. Listen, they just need to just rename it. I think it's called the Go Pickup Truck, right? Right. It okay. is. Okay. So we need to add some things. So we need to add a horse because oh, Marianne yeah. showed us how the horse. Marianne had a horse, so we cut our horse, horse out of fit. felt. And of course, you know that's from the Western Medley Die. And then we've got a couple of pigs. Here, let's put a chicken in the chicken back of the truck. And here's our cow. Look at that. Look at how and fun. Pam says one of the pigs is named Michelle. Michelle, because when I was a kid, we lived on a farm and we had a pig named Michelle. There you go. So now, this is my favorite thing. If you're feeling super whimsical, there is a paid embroidery file from our good friends at V-Stitch that turns this horse into a unicorn. That's right. I have made so many unicorns. Now, note that Lynn Gibney, who is a farm girl, has told us that we would not find a unicorn on the farm. Yes. But we said whimsical, right? We did. So I feel like on my farm, there would be unicorns and gnomes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like okay. that. Do you know there's a national or an international gnome day? Oh, we need to I learn that. Need to know what that is. All right. So again, all of these shapes have free embroidery downloads, but V Stitch did not disappoint, and they came up oh. with some super fun ones for the pickup truck. So look at this one. It could haul chickens and pigs. And pigs, yes. Look at this. Have chicken and pigs in that one. Look. And then this one doesn't it look like a bale of hay? I think that it's what's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. A bale of hay. That. Again, all of the for paid uh, for purchase ones are 15% off today. You don't need a code. 
You just need imagination. That's right. And think of all the fun projects you can applicate. Oh my gosh. Tea towels, table runners, aprons, pillows, shirts. How about the back of a denim jacket? You oh, that'd be cute. And I was thinking like cute. aprons with pigs for barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah, and with then the you need an alphabet, alphabet die. Yes. <laughs> this is what we think of. <laughs> so many great ideas. We can't wait to see what you all come up with. That's right. Now, quilters, if you want to see more inspiration, like what we come up with on our show, there are at least two new blog posts every week with innovative ways to use the dies you already own and maybe even inspire you to get some others. Discover everything we mentioned and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. What's on the blog this week? I bet today we're talking about farm animals. I bet we are. Now, in case you missed it, we have bundles available for you to pre-order that are going to ship to you this month. They are. First off, we've got the Go Farm Animals Medley Die with Matt. Get everything you see here for just $69.99. You're going to save over $36 plus that $22 value with free downloadable embroidery if you pre-order today. Plus, we have the Go Farm Animals Fun Die Bundle. Everything you see here, which includes that schoolhouse and the alphabets, uh, for $299.99 pre-ordering this bundle, save you over $118, all the free embroideries. All the free embroideries. Next up is our Go Farmhouse and Blocks Die Bundle, available for $399.99, saving you over $158 when you pre-order today. You're going to get everything you see here, including the Go Schoolhouse Piece Die to make your barn from. All right, quilters, don't forget the promo code 75CUBE, 75QUBE. Using that code at checkout, you can take $75 off our Cube Mix and Match blocks, the companion sets, specialty sets. Some exclusions apply. Check the website for details. This is a great time to fill in your line. So go look right. at your shelf and see what you're missing and just fill in. Right, which companion sets do I right. need? What size cubes work Are together? Are you missing the 8 inch? Are you missing the 4 yeah. inch? Whatever. Now, when you place your order today, you're going to get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. There's no price minimum and no code required at checkout. Quilters, our good friends at Michael Muller Fabrics are helping to make this a fabulous farm party. Until you see. By providing us with two lovely selections for our giveaway. Okay, first of all, huge shout out to Michael Miller because these are beautiful fabrics. These are beautiful fabrics. And this is so you can make one of the projects we're going to yes. show in the... Um, yes. Uh, trunk show. Okay, so do you not love the dots? I do. I love the dots. Them all. Are and super these cute. super versatile. So many things yep. you can do with. I love small dots. Yep. And this is like almost a solid, but not. Right. You know how much and I love. I that. feel like it may could count as my stripe binding. Oh, I think so. I think so too. We'll let that count for you. All Except right. We're giving these away. There's always a catch. There's always a catch. All right, quilters, the first winner of one of our Michael Miller fabric bundles is Cowbell, please. You ready? Tammy M. of Corpus Christi, Texas. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, next up, the winner of the second selection of fabric is Cowbell's ready. Bev S. of Grass Valley, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. I wonder if Bev who lives in Grass Valley has a cow. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a great. commercial with, with cows being happy in California or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Michael Miller's for sponsoring today's fabric for our show. We know our quilters are going to love making the project using these fabrics. Absolutely. Now, quilters, at the start of this year, we introduced our Paying It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as a sponsor. Now together, one person from our teams are donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. Last week's donation was made by one of our AccuQuilt go-getters, Denise Looney from For the Love of Geese. Her quilt was designed using AccuQuilt Go Stars and the Go Tumbler dies, and was made with beautiful Island Boutique fabrics. Denise donated her quilt to the Quilts of Valor, which is the foundation that makes and donates quilts to the United States service members and veterans to honor their service and sacrifice in serving our nation. To learn more about the Quilts of Valor Foundation, you can visit quiltsqovf.org. It's a great organization. It is. And be sure to visit our website for details on how you can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. 
You can also follow the hashtag, hashtag QuiltTheWorld2022 on social media to see fellow quilters' donations during the year. That's right. Now, we are also drawing prize winners every month this year. Anyone who makes a quilt and donates it to the charity of their choice and shares their quilt publicly on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag, hashtag QuiltTheWorld2022 is eligible for these prize drawings. Exactly. Now, the monthly prizes are valued at $200 with $100, listen to this, in Moda fabric. <gasps> Oh, it makes me so happy. And $100 in AccuQuilt reward points. Oh my points gosh, you could get so many great so things. So many great things. Now, let's announce the lucky winner for the winner in July. Let's do it. I think this cow calls for cowbells. The yes. lucky winner for January is, cowbell please. <laughs> Marilyn McKinney Belt, thank you so much. And you've got a picture of it. I think we do, we have a picture of her quilt. Congratulations. And she and donated this. this to Project Linus. Which is also one of our projects that we donate to. I love this. It it's super cute. So cute. And look, it has a little horsey. There's a die for that. There. <laughs> so cute. All right, quilters. Let's reveal today's final projects. So I am dying to see what our experts have come up with. Marianne, what do you have for us? Hey, quilters, I'm back. And this is my challenge piece. I call it farm animal shadow play. I used an eight and a half inch cut square. There is a die for that. Uh, and I used obviously the chicken, the pig and the cow applique and I added the sheep from the lullaby die. I used an adhesive felt to cut the shapes out and place them onto the board. And then I sewed them all down so they couldn't be pulled off. The reason I chose felt is it's very tactile. And also I made play pieces and it would allow me to adhere the play pieces without them falling off. So it makes it easier uh, for when the child wants to play the shadow play game. Now I made 16 play pieces, four in each of the colors. And what I did is one side is the color of the block and the other side is black. So the child can play the matching game either on the black side or the colored side. Keep in mind there are two facing each way. So there's also a recognition of shape and which way it goes it's going on so it's a really nice learning experience for the child the colors the black the you know the left the right there's a lot going on that they can learn and that is farm animals shadow play i hope you like it okay that's super cute super cute and i love that you know you can just put those felt pieces yeah, in there yeah. Okay, you could make that project in an afternoon she put so much thought into that yeah. but yes you certainly could it would so be a easy. quick and easy one all right, Jeannie, what did you create for us? Well, this is my challenge piece and I call it Greener Pastures. And I used all of the shapes from the die, from the farm die, and embroidered them on there. But I didn't want to just put them on a plain piece of green. So I took my thangled, tangled stars die and I cut out all sorts of green shapes and sewed them together just very scrappy and I made the grass section. I used the 10 inch cube to make the sky section. And then I sewed it together using a very subtle curve. It was very easy to do. So I didn't have a straight horizon. Then I wanted to have a chicken coop on there. So I went through my collection and I found my go home die. And it had a house on it that I used for the chicken coop. And here's the roof. And then right up here was the chimney, but I turned that upside down to lift the chicken coop off the ground. And then I use the top of the tree for my sun rays and just a circle for the center of the sun. So I hope you like it. And it's called Greener Pastures. Okay, first of all, Tangle Star, one of my favorite dies. Yes, absolutely, both of us. The chicken coop. How clever is that? And putting so it, cute. taking the chimney to raise it up. I mean, a lot of detail in that. And even how she made the sun. And the whole scrappiness of it. I love the scrappiness. All right. All right, quilters, voting is now open. So let us know which expert project was your favorite. If you're watching via the registration link or on YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. That's right. Now, while we wait on your votes to come rolling in, let's make our way into today's trunk show. Elaine, what do you have for us Here, today? I'm going to ring my bell. 
because she's never can. given it to we me. We haven't taken it from her yet. <laughs> Pretty soon, Brock is going to get it. So here we've got the Go Farmyard Animals Wall Hanging by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. And she's used, of course, that Michael Miller fabric from the giveaway, right? Oh, totally great. Okay, so huge shout out to Terry because I love all the things about this. It's super simple and cute. She used our eight inch cube, right? Mm -hmm. And actually sewed those pieces together. Look, there's Pam's pickup. There it is, right Holding there. A chicken. Right, and it has a three and a half inch uh, strip for the border and then two and a half inch strip for the binding. Right, so today's a really great day if you don't have our cubes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our eight inch cube, but you could totally make it with the nine or the 10 or the 12 inch cube. Yep. It's just gonna make it bigger. Yes, and she's done raw edge quilting on this. I love it. So right. she didn't even use the embroidery. She just sewed on inside the edge. And yeah. I like doing that for kids quilts. Yeah, it's super very cute. Very cute. Should we see the back? We do want to, you'll see some of our notes here on the back, but possibly. But I wanted to point out how Terry is so good about putting the sleeve on oh, the, yes. yes. You can see that on the top of the quilt too. So we're gonna do a show and teach I do corners on mine. I don't always do a sleeve. Yeah. The corners are great though too. Yeah. Yes. And you can it switch, helps our team. Switch out those, yes. those amazing projects. Super so. cute. Um, this is the project we're gonna make in two weeks. Right, and I don't <coughs> know if we mentioned this is the one on the packaging too. Right, exactly. All right, okay. oh this, this one. This is super cute. Yeah. This is the Go Farm <coughs> Sing Along Pillow by Amanda Howard of Larkspur Quilts. Amanda, this is adorable. Yes. Yes. Super cute. So this is actually the um, carefree. carefree alphabet. I was gonna say comfort <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> um, the uppercase, it has uppercase and lowercase, but super cute. Again, a great way to use your scraps and the little animals, again, the horse. And she just quilted over the top of those shapes. Yeah, yeah. fabulous. This is definitely a weekend project, mm -hmm. so yes. you could make this fun and thing. And I love um, Jeannie's idea of just having, making pillow covers, mm -hmm. yes. and then just changing them out for the season. Yeah, it's a great idea. Really cute. Yes. All right. So I'll take that. All right, okay. got another one coming. <laughs> This is the Go Colors and Counting Baby Quilt. It's by Marjorie Busby of Blue Feather Quilt Studio. Oh, Marjorie, it's super cute. And again, she used our cube, but do you not love the batiks that are in it? I do, I do. I think she used the 12 inch for this, didn't she? That's right. correct, mm -hmm. yes. Right, and this is that satin stitch. When we talk about the satin stitch embroidery yes. file, there's the satin stitch for it. And look what it does in the little pig's tail. I just love the quilting. She put so much detail into it. And by not quilting over the animals, it really makes them stand out, I think. Don't yeah, you? Absolutely. Yeah. Just go around them. Fun, fun project. Very swirly. And we'll take a look at the back too, because I know everybody loves yes, when yes. we're done seeing the back. Yeah. So look at how pretty this is, just those swirls. Very nice. I love really the cute. barn being in the middle of it. Yes. Yeah. It's very pretty. Okay. Okay, this uh, is the quilt of contention. This is the quilt of contention. Lynn and I are fighting over this one. This is called <laughs> Go Farm Fresh Wall Hanging. Our good friend Katie Swigert made it. And she used our two inch alphabet, classic alphabet, which is part of one of our bundles, the farm animals that are stacked, and the eight inch cube to make those super cute pinwheels. Or you could use the four inch. You could use the four yeah. inch and use shape number three. Yes. Yes. Look at how fun this is, but so pretty. Uses that classic alphabet. I love the quilting, the straight lines in the middle. I just, this is the design that was in Lynn in my head, I think, when we first started talking about this. And I love that Katie brought it to life so well. Yeah. Yeah. I really love this one. I don't and know, I love the colorway. I really love this one. We yeah. all no. <laughs> really, really, yeah, whose house really, would it look better in? I really like, is this love this one, way? but I'm gonna have a so new one. neutral. It would fit in any house. It would. It would it fit would. In Let's any see house. the back. Yeah, this is pretty. The ignore our ignore our note there. Ignore our but, notes. But it looks like woven baskets. Yes. It does. Nice. Super pretty great job. We yep. love it. All right. All right. So all of these patterns are available as free downloads on the AccuQuilt <laughs> website. So be sure to get your pan patterns downloaded before the die arrives so you'll be ready to go. She outranks me, what can I say? All right, I think I have to take this one. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> okay, well, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks so much, Lynn. All right, well, one quilters. One chance to steal a quilt. One America. chance to steal a quilt, and Lynn, Lynn has to pull the trump card and take it away. Voting is now closed, and we are about to announce today's expert winner. But first, we're gonna give away our final prize of the day. Let's say thanks one more time to one registered viewer. All right. 
That means cowbells at the ready. Yes, the lucky the winner time. of a Go Farm Animals medley die is cowbells ready? Yes. Roberta T. from Lopez Island, Washington. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love that. Okay, you guys are gonna have so much fun with the Farm Animals medley. Oh, absolutely. We, we had it, um, when we were testing it, Oakley came over yes. and cut bazillions out of craft foam oh. and put them all over the house and yes. played with them and just had a yes. great time. Yes, Christopher's been loving yes. this one. Along with dinosaurs. Yes. All right, quilters, if you're looking for um, more inspiration just like we do, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for our AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, we're going to be joined by go-getter Porfiria Gomez to discuss her collaboration quilt and how to translate quilt blocks. Be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win an exciting door prize. We're going to have tons of fun. Hope to see you there. All right, quilters, the time has come. The team has counted your votes and it's time to announce today's expert winner. I think we've got another opportunity for cowbells here coming up. Oh, yes, we do. Ready? Okay. All right. Will it be Marianne with her Go Farm Animal Shadow Play? Which was super cute. Super cute. Or will it be Jeannie with her Go Greener Pastures? Ah. You voted and decided the winner is Cowboy Ladies. Oh, yay, Jeannie Miller. Congratulations. Congratulations. It was the hat. It was the hat. hat. The E-I-E-I-O hat. So fun. But both of those projects were so great. And I, the thing I love about the die is that you can make it scrappy. It's easy projects oh, you can make. So many right. ideas, so many great ideas. Don't forget, Quilters, our new die is available for a limited time. Once it's gone, it's gone. And its bundles are only available for pre-order and will ship to you this month. First, we have the Go Farm Animals Medley die with a mat. You receive the Go Farm Animals Medley die, a six by 12 cutting mat, and that Farm Animals Medley die embroidery. Normally, this values at $107, but you can pre-order it today for $69.99 saving you over $36. Next up, we have the Go Farmhouse Fun Die Bundle. This is the one I love. Mm -hmm. It comes with the Go Farm Animals Medley Die, the two inch classic alphabet set, yep. the Go Schoolhouse Peace Die, and two cutting mats, six by 12 and the 10 by 24 cutting mats. Normally this die bundle would cost you $4.19. You can pre-order it today for $2.99, saving you over $118. Now you saw those dies at work. Yes, our all projects. of them today. And last but not least, we have the Go Farmhouse Box and Die Bundle. This is so With fun. this bundle, you're going to get our Go Farm Animals Medley Die, the Go Western Medley Die. You got to have a horse There's for the a farm. There's a in my boot. Oh dear. Go ahead. <laughs> the Go Cube Mix and Match Nine Inch Block. We are not discussing. The Go <laughs> Schoolhouse Piece Die and two mats. The Go Six by Twelve Cutting Mat and Ten by Twenty Four. Normally this bundle would run $5.59, but you can pre-order it today for just $3.99.99, saving you over $158. Oh, it's so great. Now quilters, all of the projects we showed you yes. today, every single one of them used a cube. That's right. So be sure to use the code 75 cube, make it with a Q, at checkout to get $75 off Go Cube Mix and Match Blocks, companion sets, and specialty sets. Some exclusions apply. Check the website for details. So scan your shelf, see what yeah. you're missing, and get it ordered today. So to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture this QR image. It'll take you right to the bundles on the site. And don't forget, if you live in the contiguous U.S., we're going to give you free shipping. That's no right. No code required. If you don't have access to a QR reader, open a new tab in your browser by clicking the plus sign at the top of the page. Type in AccuQuilt.com party to see the bundles and place your order. Remember, you can quilt now, pay later. Get financing options through AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, it is time for us to call the cows home. We hope that you're as excited as we are about all the creative possibilities with our new Go Farm Animals Medley die. Now be sure to join us again on Tuesday, February 8th at 12 noon central time for a new mix and match event called Pairing Perfection. Like us. That's us. We'll be sharing ways to find perfect pairs for goes dyes, cubes, and bobs. That's right. Make sure you register for the show on our webpage on the events page for your chance to win exciting door prizes. And if you haven't yet, be sure you sign up to be an exclusive AQ Circle member. You can receive exciting emails and be among the first to know about everything, including sneak peeks and new products. I, go ahead. 
To sign up, visit AccuQuilt.com slash AQ Circle. we got to tell them where to sign up. I know. Now. If you're an AQ Circle member, did you get an email this morning telling you to give you a sneak peek about I the I bet day? you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining mm -hmm. us today. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is that time. Here's the link right now. Get everything you need while it's still in stock. And remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Goodbye! Goodbye. Have you met?